all right welcome to my youtube channel in this video we'll look at uh, some applications of um, remainder and factor theorems <clears throat> okay so there are some problems here we have to solve which we are going to solve applying those two theorems right the first one here says find the value of p if the remainder of this polynomial when divided by this other one is 28 so this is just application of remainder theorem and so what are you expected to do now we have that uh, we are given a polynomial which we can call p of x or f of x or h of x so i choose to call it p of x and it is uh, this Okay, so um, we are asked to divide it by x minus 2. And remember, I will always equate this to 0. And then I will look for my x, which is equal to 2. Okay, so now the meaning of this by remainder theorem is that the remainder, which is equal to p of 2, is equal to, is given to us to be 28. All right, so what are we going to do now? We are going to now substitute, that's to find P of 2 by substituting 2 into this polynomial, and then we equate it to 28. So let's find our P of 2. Our P of 2 is going to be 2 into 2 raised to power 3. Now we are saying that the whole of this should be equal to 28. And then that's going to give us this is 8 times 2, 16, plus this is 4 times 2, 28, uh, sorry, 4 times 7, 28, plus 2p, plus 2 is equal to 28. That's going to give us, um, if you add up all of this, this plus 2 is 30, plus 6 is 46, plus 2p is equal to 28. So our 2p is equal to 28 minus 46. And that's going to give us 2p as equal to minus 18. So we'll have negative 18. And if we divide both sides by 2, it means that uh, our p is equal to minus 14. All right. And that's the p value that if you substitute here and divide by x minus 2 you will get 28 i.e. to be beautiful that you will check it now example 2 here is also another application this one says for what values of p and q are x minus 1 and x plus 2 factors of this polynomial okay so this one now is applying um factor theorem all right so now by factor theorem we are told that now meanwhile our polynomial p of x ps cubed and now we are told that x minus one is a factor and if x minus one is a factor it means that if i equate this to zero and get my x as one that if i put my x as 1 here i should get this to be equal to 0 because it is a factor and that's going to give me p into 1 cubed so that means 1 cube is 1 so i should have p plus q uh, this is 4 minus 4 plus 4 which is 0 so everything here will now be equal to 0 i can call this equation 1 and keep it here and then over here for when i now divide with this other factor so for x plus 2 it implies that my x will be minus 2 if i equate it to 0 and so if i put x as minus 2 into the polynomial i am going to have p into minus 2 cubed and this should be equal to 0 everything here Okay, so let's, uh, so that means now 
minus 2 cube is minus 8. So we have minus 8p minus 2 squared is positive 4 plus 4q. This should give us 8. And uh, 8 plus 4 is 12. Everything is equal to 0. Now here I can divide through by minus 4. If I divide everything by minus 4, why am I doing that? Because I want to make the coefficient of p to be positive. And, that's, and then and 4 can divide through actually. And that's going to give me 2p. If I divide this by minus 4, I will get minus 1q. If I divide this by minus 4, I will get minus 3 equal to 0. So my second equation is going to be 2p minus q is equal to positive 3. Uh, that's taking this to this other side. And then now I have two um, equations to solve simultaneously. And we can do that. So if I bring p plus q equal to 0. In fact, from here, uh, from equation 1, it means that p is equal to minus q. So I can put this into equation 2. And if I do that, wherever I see p, I will call it minus q. And so this will be 2 into minus q, then minus q equal to 0. Remember, I'm substituting into equation 2. Okay, and that's going to give me 2 times this is minus 2q, then minus q is equal to 3. And that's going to be minus 3q is equal to 3. Divide both sides by minus 3. You will get that q is equal to minus 1. And so if our q is minus 1, then we can now say that our p, which is equal to minus q from this equation here, okay, is going to be minus minus 1. Therefore, p is equal to positive 1 and q is equal to negative 1. And that's the solution required for this problem. All right, so we look at example 2, uh, sorry, the third example. The third example is now a combination of the application of both the remainder and the factor theorem. The first one was application of the remainder theorem. And the second, we saw an application of the factor theorem. And then here we want to see a combination of the two. It says find the value of A and B if this polynomial is divisible by this, thus factor theorem and then leaves a remainder of 1 when divided by this that's remainder theorem so what do we do now we bring down our polynomial which is a s cubed now when divided when we divide by for x minus 2 it means that our x is equal to 2 now remember that they said that x minus 2 is a factor the meaning is that if we substitute this into this, we are going to get 0. So that means that a 2 cubed plus b 2 squared plus 18 times 2 minus 8 must be equal to 0, since this is a factor. And if we simplify this, we'll have 8a plus 4b plus 36 minus 8 equal to 0 and um, this is going to give us 8a plus 4b this is going to be 28 and if we take it to the other side we'll have minus 28 and we can divide through by 4 if we do that we'll have 2a plus b is equal to minus 7 call this equation 1 and so from uh, the second point we are told that when you now divide by x minus 1 that there is a remainder and the remainder is uh, 1 so the implication is that if we substitute 1 into this polynomial it will give us a remainder of what 1 and so we are going to have 
a1 cubed plus b1 squared is equal to a remainder of what 1 which is this and that's going to give us a plus b plus 18 minus 8 is equal to 1 and this is a plus b 18 minus 8 is 10 if you bring it here it will be minus 10 and 1 minus 10 will give us negative 1 and sorry negative 9 and this is equation 2 and of course we can now solve equation 1 and 2 simultaneously so let's quickly do that so if i bring them um, 2a plus b equal to minus 7 as my equation 1 a plus b equal to minus 9 as my equation 2 and i want to use elimination method so by elimination i want to eliminate b i'll subtract 2a minus a is a and this is 0 minus 7 minus minus 9 will give me 2 therefore my a is equal to 2 and by substitution if you put a into any of the equations let us put it in equation 2 um, that's uh, a plus b is equal to minus 9 and our a is 2 plus b is minus 9 so the meaning is that uh, meaning is that our b alone is minus 9 minus 2 which is minus 11 so it means that our a is equal to 2 and our b is equal to negative 11 and that's the solution thanks for checking out math experience with precious Ugezi on youtube please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates